knees, put the bottoms of your feet together. Perfect. All right. So just lay there for a second, Lou. So, all right. Now bring your feet closer to your pelvic floor, Lou, and then pick your pelvis up as high as you can. All right. I think I had a seven. Set it down. Let your knees relax, relax open. So, all right, so now I'm gonna have you very little loop, very little close your knees, just a tiny bit, right there, that's all. Okay, so what just happened? I felt like my, my pelvis just like dropped, like it just wanted to drop and then like, it just like sent this like energy through my legs. Right, okay. So now I know that his legs are connecting with his hips in the pelvis. So although we can't see it, it's making that connection deep inside. That's what we needed to do. We'll visually see more activity as that connection gets stronger and easier. It just, it feels like I'm not like, like all I'm doing is like holding the pressure and it keeps like the more that I just hold it, like it's just, yeah, it's kind of freaky, actually. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's connecting into the spinal column, which is what we want it to do. And so, but the intensity of it's coming from your legs, pushing through the hips into the spine. You're doing fine. Are you okay with it? Yeah. Yeah, just like it feels like, a, like my legs just want to... It's just like a, there's definitely like a pace. It definitely feels like a thump, 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 like a vibration with it. Feel it like here. Is it so as? And then like I'm feeling it a lot in my knees. Right. And like lower hamstrings. There's another big breakthrough there you can see that it's very easy his muscles or his legs just start moving so now the tremors are strong enough that i think we can get them into his hips and to come up his spine a little bit so i'm going to have you close your knees just a little bit more and then you're going to turn the bottoms of your feet flat onto the bed just turn them so they're flat and move them just a couple inches apart from each other yeah, I start feeling it going into my, my hips. Good. Now take a nice deep breath, Lou, and let it out with a sigh. Ah. Uh. That's it. And I'm just starting to move his diaphragm because the tremors uh, often get stuck at the diaphragm. So I'm just having him artificially release a little bit. I mean, still on my legs, but it feels like it keeps wanting to like, like I keep kind of feeling it. Well, now it just started in like, yeah, now I'm starting to feel it on my spine actually. Yeah, just, yeah. Just, it's went, just went there as I started talking about it. My, my legs feel like they're really, they're really moving. I could actually feel like the muscle in my calf moving. I feel like my upper, like they could kind of slow down in my upper body. So we're going to play with this a little bit. You're going to Keep your arms on the bed, but you're gonna pull your shoulders forward to the middle of your chest. Pull, that's it, pull them towards the middle of your chest, now drop them. And do that five times. Okay, so your neck is starting to move, is that right? Yeah. And it's because you have tremors in your neck or because it's a reverberation from below? feels like right now it's kind of a, like it's like in my solar plexus. Okay. All right. So we're moving it up, gang. Nice and slow. Remember, we have to move at the body speed, not at the speed of the ego. There go your shoulders. That's it. Now you just breathe and let them release themselves. See, now this is happening to him, gang. He, he's not doing this one. So we're able to connect the tremor mechanism from his hips up to his shoulders. Then it's gonna definitely go into his neck because that's the spinal column basically that it's following. There 
there you go. You get a nice release in your shoulders. See what I want everybody to see is we've been trained at how complicated it is to let go of muscle tension in our body. And it is if we use the ego to do it. But if we let the body use its own mechanisms, it can really restore itself back to health very fast, actually. What are you doing there, Lou? Yeah, it's moving. Ooh. Just hang in there, you're doing fine. If at any point you wanna stop, you let me know. Sound good. I'm good, I'm starting to feel some pain in like, is that hit like hip flexors or? Uh huh. Like right here, like definitely and starting to feel. What is the pain level? Uh, it's like a like a one or two. It's just like minor discomfort. Okay, no, then that's just a minor irritation, probably because tissue is starting to release, and it's been really tight there for a while, and so you just start. There you go. See now, that's what it was doing. It was trying to release that. See, your body responds really well to what we just did. So I know we're in communication with it. In a sense, it knows we're trying to sync it all up. So the movement of your shoulders, your body's responding to that. It's trying to bring the tremors up. There you go. Oh, that's a much bigger release. And see, it's going down his arms just a little bit. You can see his hands, his wrist starting. There goes his neck. Okay, so his body loved it. Hang in there, Lou. If that makes you dizzy, you can forcibly stop the neck movement. Otherwise, it's just releasing your neck muscles. This is what's going to get rid of that pulling up in your shoulders that you told us about. That's it. We'll let it, yeah, let it loosen the neck and shoulder. Now it's trying to connect the neck and shoulders here. That's it. Now look, the whole, the whole structure of the organism is trying to pull all the pieces back together because Lou has a lot of energy, but it's all in segmented pieces in his body. So his legs had energy, his hips have energy, his shoulders do, but they were never connected. And so now the organism's reconnecting all the pieces. And this is what happens to all of us in life. We segment our body because of the different traumas and injuries we have. But the body wants to be one whole piece again. And there you see how it's, it's trying to pull all, all the pieces back together. So it's one unified living pulsating organism. And that's when we get feeling good in our bodies. It feels good to be alive when all the body pieces are connected. Okay, Lou, that was wonderful. Unfortunately, we're gonna to have to stop you now. So I'm gonna have you slide your legs down flat on the floor. And to just slide them down flat and just rest. Now there could be some residual tremors that come up. Just lay there and let them happen. And then when you're, gent when you're ready, I want you to gently roll to your side and push yourself up with your hands into a sitting position. Don't do a sit up. Roll to your side, that's it. There you go, perfect. And then push yourself up nice and slow. And then you take a minute to collect yourself and um, we can talk a little bit. I felt like I could not, I was letting myself like it was actually all happening to me, but I also felt like with some intention that as I like, I could move it a little bit. It feels just like you're almost in this vibrating channel that's slightly massaging and therapeutic and like also felt, it felt releasing emotionally in some ways because I could feel getting lighter 
I could feel heat. I could feel like I could feel the temperatures changing and morphing. Like I could feel um, like moments of pain into moments of release and relief. And yeah, it really, and I, I kind of volunteered because even as much as I do this work, I feel still very disconnected from my body. And so just was curious at like what that could, how that connection could feel. I definitely coming out of it, I noticed like spaciousness in my neck. Like I'm, I feel like I was like this and now I feel a lot, definitely a lot more open. So it's a little, it's pretty, it was pretty cool.